Uh, so my talk is about uh, is every patient the same and the importance of uh, individual biomedical reconstruction in total hip arthroplasty. Uh, so uh, facing to a primary arthroplasty, we have to make a THA planification uh, with four goals to the restoration of the rotation center, the restoration of leg length and femoral offset. And with this three goal, we have to uh, anticipate uh, uh, perioperative difficulties. At the end of the planification, we have to uh, we must obtain the, ta the type and size of femoral and cup implants, the orientation of the stabular cup, and then the level of the neck cut uh, we have to reproduce uh, during the uh, surgery. So just a, a, an example of a uh, simple case of osteoarthritis on the left side. Uh, if you uh, want to make a standard planification, the first step is uh, to go to the uh, contralateral size. So here the left, uh, the right planification draw the right center of rotation, draw the U uh, radiological line, and then to report to the uh, disease side to draw the left center of rotation, draw the line from the U passing through the center of rotation, and then according to the uh, cup uh, you want to use, uh, cemented, cementless, or uh, whatever, uh, you have to use a template of this cup and to choose and draw uh, the cup diameter. Um, then to the uh, femur side, you have to draw the lesser and the greater trochanter, draw the femur, especially for the uh, canal. Uh, and then according to the uh, stem you want to uh, put, you have to choose so uh, according to the template, uh, according to uh, the respect and the restoration, uh, like here, of the femoral offset. And then the last step is to draw the uh, cut, uh, the, ne uh, the neck level uh, cut that you have to reproduce uh, during uh, your uh, surgery. But okay, uh, for a simple case, but in case of difficult hips, like uh, in this case with the previous surgery, previous osteotomy, and so on, or if you want to personalize each uh, cases, what uh, we are going to do. Uh, first of all, I think we have to uh, take in account that uh, in the standard population, the mean femoral offset is 42 millimeter diameter, but as you can see, uh, this range from 30 to 64. So there is a very, very large variation of uh, femoral offset according to uh, many data like sex, uh, ethnies, body morphology. Uh, in my institution, we use for um, conventional stems the Zweimuller uh, stem, standard stem, but for very young patients under 40 years old, 50 years old, sorry, uh, the Zweimuller standard can't reproduce femoral offset in more than 40% uh, of uh, the cases. Um, as you can see here, for a standard case, there is no problem with here a femoral offset of uh, 50, um, 40 uh, millimeter, but in case uh, of, uh, in, in uh, face to this uh, type of case with long neck, high offset, uh, in this case the offset was um, uh, 54 uh, millimeter, so it was impossible to reproduce with a, a standard Zweimuller stem. As you can see here, that we have a decrease of uh, the femoral offset, and it's not a good uh, thing to do because there is a risk of dislocation, muscle weakness, and so on. Uh, moreover, we have uh, in these uh, young uh, patients uh, often the case of a variation of the ratio between the femoral canal and the offset, and sometimes it requires very uh, difficult to adapt the femoral offset according to the stem to the uh, stem uh, that you want to put. Uh, so we uh, made a study about uh, templating of difficult, uh, difficult case with uh, more than 90 cases with a high offset. So here the mean offset was uh, 47 uh, millimeter and a low CCD with Coxavara, a CCD of 123 degrees. With the six common steps, stems we use uh, in my institution, so the Muller autoblocon, the Zwei Muller, the Zwei Muller lateralize, the Serraver modular extra offset, the Chernokerbul, and the Lubinus Vera SP2 170 degrees. As you can uh, see on this graph, in, uh, for uh, most of uh, the stem, uh, we have a medialization, so a decrease of the femoral offset, and a shortening uh, with a decrease of the leg length. It was not a very good thing to a perfect restoration of, uh, the, for the biomedical parameters. As you can see here, for the alloclassic SL and Muller, we have a medialization 
for uh, the uh, Libinus and the Serave, we have a shortening. So uh, for the most uh, common standard stand used, like the Muller, the Charney, we can reproduce the femoral offset in 70% of the cases, but this standard stand are not adapt if the femoral offset is up than 48 millimeters. Uh, so what are the solutions? You can use modular stems, but now it's well known that the use of modular stem uh, could lead to uh, problems with fracture, uh, trinosis, and so on. Oh, we can use um, custom-made stem, high offset stem, short stem, or resurfacing. Uh, in my institution, we use, at the beginning of our experience uh, on this uh, type of cases, uh, high offset stem with a Lubinus SP2 170 degrees. Uh, for the clinical scores, there is no differences with other series. Uh, but we have a very high rate of dislocation. We use a posterior approach. Uh, free dislocation, so f more than 3% have a dislocation, so it's very, very um, a bad uh, rate. Uh, but in all these cases of dislocation, um, we have uh, notice a reduction of the femoral offset, uh, like uh, in these cases with a long neck with a um, uh, high offset. And moreover, we have in 6% of uh, the case, that's a, a f um, uh, uh, five years of follow up, a femoral losing of 6% due to high mechanical stress uh, on the stem. So, uh, to date, we have stopped uh, this type of uh, long uh, neck eye offset stem. Uh, short stem could be used uh, in this type of case, or in case of uh, hardware that it was not possible to remove. In this case of long neck with eye offset, uh, it's not very difficult to reproduce the anatomy with a short stem, uh, we don't have to take care about the, fem uh, the, canal, uh, the femoral canal. Uh, in this case of coxavara with high offset, uh, in, in my point of view, we can use short stem or hyprosurfacing without any problem to uh, automatically uh, make a restoration of leg length or um, uh, femoral offset. In case of coxa valga, here with a CCD of more than 140 degrees, uh, with short stem we can preserve uh, the short neck and then to adapt very easily uh, the uh, leg length and the femoral offset. Uh, in difficult case, like in this case with a leg length discrepancy, with a, um, a shortening of uh, the leg of uh, 2 cm, with a, a low offset uh, due to sequelae of osteochondritis, we can, with a short uh, stem, uh, perfectly restore the leg length, as you can see here, and with a nice restoration of uh, femoral offset. So in conclusion, I think if you want to, if you are facing to difficult case, or if you want to uh, personalize uh, biomechanical reconstruction, you have to uh, adapt with a specific solution like facing custom med stem, short stem. And I think uh, my um, take home message is to be very careful if you have a firmware offset at the preoperative templating higher than 45 millimeter uh, to be sure to uh, that new stem can reproduce this femoral offset. And in this type, the planification is essential. Thank you. Okay, thank you.